I'm playing the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. Like its predecessor, this is an open world game, meaning you can explore freely and play almost however you want. I'm trying to do a vegan playthrough, so I'm not eating any animal products to restore my health or using them for elixirs or anything like that. As in the previous game, I'm eating mushrooms, fruit, and herbs that you can easily find out in the wild. That's all very cool and very vegan. But wow, there are some points in this game that really want you to exploit animals. I'm going to go over the three issues I worried most about while trying to do a vegan playthrough. I'm not going to go into specifics to avoid spoiling anything, so you don't have to worry about that. First, I'm not sure you can go without arrows. There are some bosses that are going to be hard to reach with other weapons and a special story-related ability that requires the use of arrows. This is relevant to a vegan run because the fletching of arrows, the things opposite the pointy part that stabilize the arrow during flight, are often made of feathers. That could be an issue for a vegan like me if birds are killed for them. The good news is you can find literally hundreds of arrows just on the ground and in crates, often in ancient ruins where no one else is going to be looking for supplies. I don't think you're increasing demand for animal products much by picking up stray arrows people are leaving around, and have never needed to buy new arrows. Also consider the Rito, bird people who seem to specialize in archery. You see some craftspeople in the Rito village who make bows and arrows, and there's a shop where you can see that some of the armor for sale is lined with Rito feathers. This opens up the possibility that the Rito are making arrow fletchings out of their own molted feathers, which would make them freely given by a consenting creature and, in my mind, count as vegan. I don't think it's known exactly how arrows are made in Zelda canon though, so that's just a theory. Sorry. My second issue was that upgrading the defenses on any of your armor required the completion of a certain quest, where the most obvious course of action was to use a horse. And me, I'm not into forcing animals into labor. Luckily, it's not necessary in this case. If you've been following any of the memes about this game, you know you can make some pretty incredible machines from what are called Zonai devices. I only needed to use three of these devices to complete the quest and start upgrading my gear. Those devices are accessible pretty early in the game if you explore the right region. Unfortunately, after the initial upgrade, you also need to steal some honeycomb from bees to unlock the next round. I don't think you can get around that besides just not upgrading your gear past that first time. Lastly, and most frustratingly, I think you might need a fish to progress through the story. There's a quest where someone will trade you something that grants you a special ability in exchange for a fish. This ability helps you get to one of the game's temples, and I tried for a while to create a machine that would let me bypass the need for this trade, but it's either impossible or I'm just not good enough at hot air ballooning. In that case, let me know in the comments if you got past this part of the game without giving someone a fish. I'll be very impressed. In conclusion, you can get through the vast majority of this game using plants, zonai devices, and equipment you pick up from the ground. You just might need to kill a fish, unfortunately. But only virtually. And of course, vegans don't actually need to do vegan playthroughs of games, it's just something I like to try. That's it for today, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.